Welcome back to the Butler Blue Vlog, Hello. Uh, Michael, Hello. Evan, and we've added a member. Woo! Brittany. Brittany's yep. here, uh, our intern this semester, hopefully for the whole year if we can convince her to Today's stay. Today's her yeah. first day. Today's her first day, Woo, and first we're day. taking her out to lunch to Atherton Union. We're going back. Yep. Bon Appetit. Uh, we said we were going to do it. Yeah, it's up and running. Everything should be going, so we're going to try all the food stations, show you everything, interviews with uh, key people over there. Uh, this is going to be a two-part vlog, so we're dining at Atherton today. Big one. Resco tomorrow, showing you a couple other spots on campus where you can grab food. Uh, it's going to be good. Really. It's good. Yeah, this intro Literally taking too and figured long. I'm going to go eat. Okay, let's Bye. go. So we're walking. We decided to walk because we don't have the dog. A little humid, not yep. bad. So one, one big thing to note is we have two people who are going to be eating vegan, which is not going to be a problem at this place. Mm -mm. No. Um, and since we're going out to eat twice, for lunch. I'm gonna be on the healthy end, friends. I'm gonna maybe get a salad or something. Um, but I am a former junk food kind of sewer, so I'll be able to show you that. But we're gonna be able to show you a broad range of the food available here at Atherton Union. Yep. Uh, we are at the marketplace at Atherton Union. There's the sign. Uh, it's backwards. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. He didn't memorize that. It's He's Saturday just reading it from the sign. 10 to 8 p.m. So, at least you can read backwards. Uh, again, and uh, I'm surprised it's kind of slow. It is slow right but now. But classes start tomorrow. Well, it's also, we're at the 11 an hour. We're at 11 and I think Give it 11.30. Yeah. I think the 11.30 and 12, because everyone's with their saw groups right now. Yeah. That's right, the student orientation guy. We saw them walking outside, so their lunch might be different. We'll filing in soon, but we have, I think, all the stations open, so we're going to go in and have a look. You want to start with a buffet tour? Build out a couple plates. Yep. And do it up. Eat it all. And then we're going to do some interviews after that. Okay. But I gotta swipe in first. Okay. All right, so I said we were gonna do a buffet first, but we just heard from um, the dietitian is here. The allergen dietitian is here. So we're gonna interview her, she might show us a few things, and then we'll jump into the buffet. Sounds good. We're with Katie, and Katie is our resident dietitian. Uh, she's here full time. So if you are a student and you have special dietary needs, uh, Katie is your go-to resource here with uh, Bon Appetit Butler Dining Services. So she can help coach you, she can guide you, she can help you with special meal plans. She's an excellent resource, uh, something we haven't had before on campus, so I would invite you to use her. And Katie is going to tell us about uh, the Butler Dining's digital signage and what it all means, right Katie? That is correct. Okay, so Katie, come on close to Evan here to the will. camera so he can pick you up and you can show us. So, you could zoom in on this green arrow that you see right next to our spicy Vietnamese style beef stew. Um, here at Bon Appetit, we have well being commitments that we provide for you guys. Um, so, a third of our menu we plan to be very healthy, a third of our menu is moderately healthy, and the other third is indulgent just to meet everyone's needs and preferences. So, um, what you see at the arrow, the more full the arrow is, the better. Um, quality those calories are so you're going to see a lot of fruits and vegetables in those dishes the whole grain option so brown rice versus white rice um, and then your lean proteins and so the half full you might see white rice instead of brown rice which is a totally fine grain but um, that's why that arrow is a more half full and then those less full arrows are your more indulgent options so a cookie may not be full at all correct but a spicy Vietnamese style beef stew is about half full because it has white rice but also green beans and still pretty healthy. Still pretty healthy, you're right. Now you want to show us Latitude. What is Latitude? So Latitude is our station where we cater to those that have allergens. Um, so all the foods that are over there are made without those eight major allergens. Um, but it's for everyone. Everyone can go over there and eat. Ah, so let's go look let's at Latitudes and see what's up. Evan's showing you the signage here, kind of explains what's happening, but uh, this this is allergy free, right? This is allergen free. And um, today we have vegan red lentil cauliflower curry that happens to be vegan, which is great. We've got a calorie count. Uh, maybe that gluten. We got ingredients, and it looks very good. I'm gonna show them. This is the curry cauliflower. What's this in the middle then? That would be oh. Q Farms Shards, and it is a local ah, dish yeah, from the Q I Farm. Out of, farm. out of West Campus, Q Farm. And those and are lentils. Ooh. And then, uh, what do we have here in the, 
the so, dispenser. Um, we will have some static breakfast menu items. So these are sprouted corn flakes, also free of all allergens. Um, the this will be filled with rice checks eventually. And we actually just taste tested our allergen free waffle mix the other day. Woo! Wow. So Katie, if a student needs to get in touch with you about their dietary needs, how would they how would they do that? They can email me. I have a Butler email. It's K-C-M-A-H-E-R at Butler.edu. And uh, my office is 112R over um, if you enter the north entrance of the cafe, it's just around the corner. Anything else students should know from a dietary perspective that you want to tell them? We're here to take care of you guys. How Any about suggestions that? are welcome. We wow. have a suggestion board on the wall. We do have a text message operation coming, so you can text suggestions and thoughts and feedback, um, and we'll get that right away and get back to you. Wow, it's awesome. a new day here at Butler uh, in terms of dining. So thank you, Katie. You're welcome. You. Here's our drink options that we shoot. We did show last time. Um, got your fountain beverages. You have your, your standard Pepsi, your Mountain Dew, but there is a juicy pear no calorie iced tea that I will be trying and letting you know all about, as well as the yum berry pomegranate, zero calorie. Uh, Gatorades, but watch those sugars. Uh, freshly brewed iced tea, Ooh. sweet and unsweet. Um, and then the flavor infused water down this way. Okay, resort style. So it looks like we have a lemon and lime infused and maybe... Um... Oh, it's right here. We have a oh, pineapple, there we go. not lemon lime, pineapple lime. Pineapple lime. And a mixed fruit infused, there we go. And which we'll try as well. Do you want to point out one thing? Okay. A lot of people carry water bottles. In fact, in our last video, Evan and I suggested you carry a water bottle. You cannot fill that up here. Sure. Uh, reason being is they want you to use a cup that they know they've sterilized and washed. Yes. Whereas your container may not be always sterilized. So. But you could fill this up conceivably and dump it in your in your water bottle. In your water bottle. Uh, Where are we going to next? So we've already hit the allergen zone. We've, we've seen latitudes. Uh, let's let's go around the sort of uh, deli and salad bar and then work our way out. What do you, what do you think? Okay. Yeah. Soups, you're gonna have at least two homemade soups every day. Um, usually one is vegetarian or vegan at least. Uh, Italian sausage, sausage and lentil today with vegetable white beans and kale. Looks like it's gluten free. Get a gander, take a gander of these. Well, this one's your Italian good. wedding soup here. This one smells really good. I think, yep. Salad bar. So um, the labels aren't out right now, but um, a, lo a lot of this actually comes from our own farm on campus or within um, the state lines, which is pretty cool. Fresh fruit, uh, all your toppings. Evan, this is right up your alley. I love toppings and condiments, so I'm going to be getting mushrooms, peppers, artichokes. Broccoli, carrots, black olives, onion. We have chicken. Hummus, egg. Hummus, maybe roast beef, edamame. Yep, I'm getting a salad. Uh, homemade dressings for your salad. You got ranch, French, Italian, honey mustard, and, and uh, looks like a berry. Ra raspberry. raspberry vinaigrette. More toppings. Uh, croutons and goldfish and... Cranberries and raisins. More goldfish. Oh, olive oil. I do love olive oil. Is this an, a second salad bar station? Yes, it's kind of a, but with some different a little stuff. bit redundant, but we also have pasta salad here. I love pasta salad. Um, Cottage cheese, cheddar rest cheese. Of your toppings. Now, last time we were here, the pasta salad was an Asian pasta salad. It was delicious. And so this is more, um, looks American style pasta salad. So they're switching it up, which is nice. Right. The deli, which they call made. Um, and you're gonna have this available pretty much every day. So cold cuts. Uh, you can make a quick deli sandwich. You got pretzels and chips. You can get it toasted. You can have a cold. Um, super handy. So if you need to eat quickly or if you're just feeling like a cold cut sandwich. Sometimes you do. Boom. But just a heads up, that arrow is not that full. But that's okay Not sometimes. as healthy, but, but still, still not terrible. Not terrible. We'll head over to the charred station here. This is where you're going to Charred. Get, uh, like grilled your, chard, not like charred the vegetable. This is, you know, your french fries and then they may make hamburgers or melts. Or yeah, whatever. a salami provolone sandwich with tomato jam sounds delicious. Italian sausage today, roasted potatoes. And so they have french fries and they have roasted potatoes. So, so nice selection here. Uh, looks good. And again, 
fully operational, so they have two stations of it, redundant. So the lines don't get too long. I like it. We have onions, pepper jack, American cheddar and Swiss, may mayonnaise, like a relish. I have zero idea what, something, don't know, looks good. And then tomatoes and some lettuce. You got all the options here, folks. Wait a minute, we were gonna go show something else. But but this breakfast bar thing, I think, yeah. needs to show some attention. Because you can have breakfast whenever you want. You can have breakfast anytime, not just at breakfast time. So, some dry cereal. Look at this granola. Uh, your cold milk, whole milk, chocolate milk, 2%. Oh, no. Got, uh, I love bagels. Baked goods, so English muffin, oh, yep. bagels. Bread. Action shot. Waiting for it. We got for it. We got a bagel that's right now. Check it out, y'all. Oh man. Waffle station. Bulldog waffle. Bulldog waffles. Oh, you're gonna love this. So you, you know, dispense it, throw it in. It's just like the Hampton Inn over here. You're gonna love it. Syrup. Look at our toppings. You got log cabin syrup. You got syrup in here. Regular sugar-free chocolate almond butter. Butter. You got uh, grape, grape jelly, jelly and cream cheese. So. And then. You're feeling like a waffle for lunch. Or an eggplant. You can have it. Why is there an eggplant here? Is this called spiced and satisfied? Spiced and You're spiced and And Lynn is satisfied. <laughs> uh, She's my favorite. So we've got uh, roast pork loin and uh, chicken and wild rice casserole today. So these are gonna be This looks like the pork more of your international pork dishes, pork. traditional sort of cafeteria Ooh, style, look at those veggies. made fresh, like mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Rosanna. And then as we work our way down, you're gonna get different offerings here. Is this a whole thing of olive oils? Look at these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar, sesame oil, olive oil, Worcestershire, tamari, and red white vinegar. What do we have over here? Yeah, seasonings. Oh, seasonings too. Evan, you are in heaven right here. I yes. am. Look at And then you can have this one. What is that? Sweet chili yeah. sauce? Yeah. Sweet chili sauce. I might have to get some rice to try all these seasonings. If you're a condiment king like Evan, there you go. And sauce. They've got you taken care of. If you have five different types of barbecue sauce in your fridge like I do, there you go. Don't, you're not alone, but you're going to love it here. There. And then you got so here's the thing about the live mascot station. program. He drinks tea. I drink coffee. Brittany? Coffee. Ha ha! So, you have a lot of options. Cho what's chocolate tea? I don't know. I've never had it. Let's try that. Oh man, so you have a bunch of tea options over here on the North Beverage. Well, from Zionsville, where I live now. Blue's decaf or Bulldog blend, locally roasted from Zionsville. Who's getting decaf? Julian Coffee. We've got it. I'll try that. I'll give it a test. Heck yeah. So try that. And then the other beverages are the same. Right. Okay, have we. Oh, is there juices? Oh. Look at these juices. We have orange, apple, cranberry, apple, and orange. You got options. Yes. So we're with Mark Daniels, and uh, Mark is with Bon Appetit, part of the transition team. That's correct. He's the one who uh, helped get everything up and running. And speaking of everything, what all do you have to offer our campus? Got a lot. Okay. A lot of great stuff. So we'll start with where we are. Of course, you guys have looked around after the market yep. yesterday, all the different options, the all you care to eat formats, right. breakfast, lunch, and dinner with continuous service between the continental breakfast options between meal periods. Um, then we have, of course, Starbucks. Everybody loves Starbucks. We didn't change a thing about the hours of Starbucks. The menus in Starbucks are exactly the same. Okay. Um, we also have the uh, Plum Market coming soon. Coming soon, around the beginning of November. In C Club. Very exciting. Okay. Keep you posted on it. Maybe come back and visit with we us. We will. Lacey School of Business Cafe is a coffee shop cafe. Let's we'll show. 7 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, then we have the uh, Resco. Resco has changed this year. It's important that they know it's not an all you care to eat facility. We're going to show them that. We're oh, dining there right. tomorrow. Tomorrow, great. So Resco is another great option for students 11 to midnight every day. Uh, then we have the Health and Recreation Center Cafe. It's the Wellness Cafe, um, which is cool because there hasn't been anything there for quite some time. So it's a C store concept directed at students who are working out or just finished working. Okay. Uh, and then there's Trips Corner Market, which we're really excited about. Uh, in the apartment village, yeah. yeah. The C store we'll concept, that as well. right? Okay. The grocery store as well. Uh, packaged goods, and then of course concessions. Concessions in Hinkle Field. Yeah. Coming soon. Yeah. And. Uh, 
couple things. One, did you say that Resco was open till midnight? That is correct. Wow. And all of this is open to the public. That is correct. So if you're a paying customer, yes, you anyone can come can and come. dine with us. Absolutely. Okay. Like us. Yeah, like us. Exactly yeah. right. Okay. Uh, and one other thing. I heard, we'll find out tomorrow, but I heard there's beer in Resco. You heard right. How many swipes is there? <laughs> <laughs> the students can use flex dollars of their age. Of oh, okay. okay. They can use their meal plans to pay for beer. They can't use their blocks, but they can use flex dollars. Okay. Dog bucks. Okay. Cash credit, of course. But we're also serving wine, too. The beer and wine. At Resco. <laughs> Get you a nice bowl of pasta, yeah. sit down with the wine. You're going to be wow. taking your dates to Resco, people. <laughs> it's a date night at Resco. It's a good fall. Now, uh, you mentioned dog bucks. Tell us about that. So dog bucks are uh, voluntary uh, meal plan dollars okay. that anyone can participate in. Students are on meal plans, students are I can buy dog bucks. You can buy dog okay. bucks. Okay. Anyone can buy dog bucks through, uh, through Bon Appetit okay. in our offices. We'll release some hours and people can do that. Okay. What's cool is in the beginning we're going to be giving a 15% bonus. So for every dollar we give you 15%. Oh, you get an extra dog bucks. Above $50. Anything above $50 we give you 15%. So that's that's okay. free money. That's a bonus. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly. Yes. And dog bucks roll over semester to semester. Okay. Year to oh, year okay. as well. And they can be used to eat. Oh, and concessions. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just hear you could use dog bucks while you're watching a basketball game That's at Hinkle right. Fieldhouse? That is correct. Oh, that would have been dangerous when I was here. <laughs> wow. So that's okay. exciting. New option. Okay. Your dietitian, Katie, mentioned a, uh, a tech service that's coming. Uh, and I understand that that'll be rolled out in October. So students will be able to text in real time if they have an issue with food service or their meal. And you guys are looking to be really responsive, right? That's correct. Okay. It contacts several different managers. Okay. And of course they can tell us which cafe they're they're in or the, where the concern is or where they'd like to give us a, some mad props. Some kudos. And, and certain yeah. managers will get that and as a group wow. respond back to the student. Yeah, it's really cool to stay in touch okay. in real time, like you said. Alright, we made it back to the table. So here's my salad. I got all this food for what I think is probably around 90 calories. I went for the spicy Vietnamese pork, and I got the sauce, on, the white rice on the side, so I could try that sweet chili sauce I showed you, as well as a sweet soy sauce, which I don't know what that means, but I'm here for it. You got broccoli. The sriracha green beans. Which I think I have sriracha green beans too. Yep. Some white rice. Then this is all from Latitudes. This is all allergen free. So this is the cauliflower, and then onions. the onions and stuff, and then lentils, and then this is the vegan white bean soup. And then another I got a lot of the yep. same yep. salad with the hummus, which I'm excited to try. Soup, rice with uh, cholula, and broccoli. Fantastic. And then I got the pineapple infused water, and then the juicy pear tea, mm -hmm. and I'll let you know how those are as well. Oh this sweet chili sauce that was on the table. Um, it was like Pan Express on steroids, and I don't know what sweet soy sauce is either. But I would like to live. I would like a bucket of it. Did you get it too? Mm -hmm. How would you describe it? It's like soy sauce with like honey in it, basically, is what it tastes like. But better. Like I'm gonna get a plate of just white rice to try more of it. Yes. All right, as you can see and probably hear, this place has really filled out. How was your food? Good. Do you want to go through? It our... wasn't the best vegan day. Okay. I've had here, but it was still good. Okay. Let's go plate by plate. So Brittany has her plates here. Yep. Let's start with that curry. How was the curry? Because that looked good. It wasn't bad. Not bad? Yeah. It wasn't bad. Okay. Um, the lentils were good. Um, she had the salad bar. She had hummus. Yes. Hummus was homemade. Here's my salad. I, I couldn't finish it all. It was very good. Yep. Let me get it. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we I was go, eating it by itself. Yep, I ate the hummus by itself too. The salad was very good, very fresh. Yeah. Um, how are the lentils? Good, the lentils were good. Um, the green beans were good, the broccoli was good. The white rice was the good. sweet soy but sauce. Did you get the, the, the sweet soy? Oh Game gosh. changer. Game changer. Sweet soy. And then under this plate, I had the spicy. Vietnamese beef stew. How was that? It was amazing. It had a very earthy tone to it. A lot of vegetables in there, but the beef was so tender. Like you, uh, when I heard stew, I thought it'd be a chewy beef. Very tender. Very tender. Very earthy. Very tender. Um, had some rice and the sriracha green beans as well. Uh, and then, uh, what did you have to drink? Yes. So, 
Here is, me and Brittany both got the pineapple infused water. Cheers. Very hit, subtle hints, but good. Mmm. Yep. Just had some, I did get the juicy pear tea. Zero calories, but not zero flavor. <laughs> okay, and then um, unsweet iced tea, and then fruit, fruit, and you got coffee. Coffee. Yeah, so this coffee was actually brewed right down the street from the Krause House, which you have seen in a vlog from when Trip stayed with me. Um, very, very smooth coffee. It had almond milk and half and half as options, but very tasty. Good. Okay. So, so is this the end of day one? No, we have oh. the dessert bar. We have not shown them dessert. Oh gosh. Okay. And then you have my. And then you want my observations on the way back. Okay. I have some observations. Okay. Let's go see the desserts. Let's go look at desserts. It's gotten crazy in here. It Hold is. on. It's crazy. I hope they can hear us. Okay. Like a dull roar. Okay. So it sounds like a Cracker Barrel soft serve. Which when I get my new kidney, I'm not vegan anymore. I'm hitting this. I'm gonna do cup of You got Hershey syrup if you want. Other, Brownie bites, toppings. cookies, chocolate chips, maybe coconut, and then I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, what else we got? Vegan dessert. Okay. <laughs> uh, oatmeal raisin cookie, sugar cookie, vegan oatmeal raisin. No. Cookie. Yeah. Okay. Brown sugar cinnamon cookie, chocolate chip cookie, snickerdoodle cookie, brownie bites. Where's that? I don't know. What, what else do we have here? What is it? Lemon bite. Oh, Lord. Oreo cake. Oreo cake. And raspberry blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> raspberry blueberry cheesecake. So if you can't find something for dessert, she got a cookie. That's on you. It is on it's you. It's not on them. We're holding up the line. Is it good? It's good. All right, I want to take this time. I did hear some students talking. Let's go, let's let's do it on the walk back. Well, we left all of our stuff over there. Oh. Okay. We left. Wrapping up uh, part one here. Lunch was great. Good. Um. Got to hear from a few folks. Yeah. Tomorrow, part two, we'll go to Resco. Yep. Talk with a couple more folks. But for you guys, it'll just be like a split second because yeah. of editing. Uh, but for us, it'll be tomorrow. Yep. And then uh, we're also going to, after lunch tomorrow, we'll swing by the cafe in the Butler Business Building. Yep. Uh, we'll swing by the HRC because um, they have a new grab and go offering. And then we'll also jump down to Apartment Village and show you the Trips convenience store. Trip open up a convenience store, apparently. <laughs> apparently so. I'm not <laughs> that's seeing what any of the revenue. That's what he's been up to that. these days. Um, but before we let you go, a few observations from today. Yeah. So I heard when I was getting my extra plate of rice, the person, a student in front of me said, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I told someone I wanted to go eat at Atherton today instead of going out to eat. So that was cool. That's a, yeah. Yep. And then um, another student said, I don't feel so gross in here anymore. So that was, yeah. that, like eating wise, like we feel pretty good. Like we feel sustained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not like not super sluggish. full or sluggish or yeah. greasy. Yep, and I, I overheard uh, students say, wow, this is really good. So that was a good sign. I did see a lot of students uh, with cheeseburgers. Yeah. Well, Guys, what are you going to do? Branch out. Come on. You're not in high school anymore. But like I You're said, when I was a first year here at Butler, that's where I would have gotten to. So maybe by senior year, I would have I would have branched out a little well, bit. Well, here's the deal. Okay. Get your hamburger. Yep. But let's let's start growing up a little bit. Maybe sample something else because yeah. you might you already took the swipe. So you might as well get a little dab of it on your plate and try it. Just try it. I mean, that's what I did today. I got spicy Vietnamese beef stew, and I tell you what, sound like a total forty year old over here. But geez, come on, guys. I would I would go back just to try that again. Yep. And then uh, my only other observation was I saw a kid wearing an Indiana University uh, shirt, and that's unforgivable. So. Make better choices, people. Uh, we're at Butler University now, kids. We don't yeah. need to wear other school stuff. There's no bigger slap to my face than someone wearing other school's gear. Yep. None of that. My brother goes there. My mom went there. You go here. You go here. This is your school now. Welcome yeah. to school. Whew. Okay, so. <laughs> my anyway, heart rate's Good lunch. Up. Yep. Uh, see you momentarily for part two. I gotta make sure I, I wear a different outfit or else it's gonna look real awkward when we cut to our next day, right? Now. Boom. I'm wearing a different color pullover now. <laughs> We did, we changed. I was gonna wear a blue one, but then I thought you guys might think it'd be too similar, so I got a gray one. It's day two. But we're missing Brittany. Part two. Yeah, she may join us later, I don't know. Yeah, she's in class right now. Yeah, she's in class. She has other stuff. But, but hi uh, Brittany, you're probably gonna edit this. Thanks. As we mentioned, we're on our way to Resco. Which is interesting, because when I was a student here, no one was like, 
voluntarily going to Resco for lunch. Like yeah, we, I we think would, we went there out of convenience, right? Like, right. But uh, now, different story. They've changed the game over there. I'm excited to see it. I mean, honestly, if they have the same thing as they had at Atherton yesterday with that spicy beef stew, um, I'd be in again. It's gonna be good. So we'll see what we're gonna get. So we're gonna test all that out. And, I, and I'm, yeah, I mentioned this is a two part video. It's actually kind of a three part. Cause we're gonna have sure. lunch here. And then the third part is we're gonna show you sort of the other dining properties around campus. We're taking a left turn. Yeah, we're gonna take a left turn. Uh, I wanna go by the fountain. So we'll have lunch and then we'll show you that stuff as well. And that's when we'll, you'll see Trip. We're gonna get Trip out for that stuff. Sorry. Sorry there hadn't been much Trip in this video. I know it's his vlog, we take it over. But do you really want there to be dog hair in your food? No. Think, think about it that way, friends. You just had slobbering all over your pants while you're trying to eat. It's not fun. Also, it's gorgeous. It's oh, happy first day of class. It's Wednesday. That's today. Happy first day of class. I have never been more excited. I got to teach tonight. You're teaching tonight. He teaches a class. I don't know if you knew that. Sports promotion and how to take care of a dog. <laughs> and it's awesome. It's no longer boring. So it's a welcome, welcome change to have these students back on campus now. The energy is back. Everybody's, yeah. Going, I feel alive. Going to class, going to, it's awesome. I feel alive. Welcome to Resco. Thank you. I haven't been in here for a minute. I haven't either. Um, Here's their sign. I love that the great wall of Resco is down. Oh my gosh, there was a wall around this. It used to feel so uninviting. And so now it's open. It feels so inviting. And it is inviting. It smells delicious. You can access this part now all the time so they can study here or just be social here. Ooh. So. Let's go check it out. Okay. So we are inside Resco. We gave you a little glimpse. Now we're in it. Uh, Joe Graves, general manager from Bonaparte Teens Good. Hi there. Uh, take us around, kind of show us. This concept has changed. I didn't even realize uh, what all happened. So Joe's going to show us what's up, and then we're going to switch gears and talk about food with uh, Brandon, the executive chef. So, Joe, different concepts in here. Absolutely. We don't just swipe in and enter in anymore. No. Right? So one of the things that really changes this. We open this space up, so it feels a lot more inviting than the closed-in prison walls that were here before. Um, <laughs> But uh, so you have a lot more light, more dining options. Uh, it's a retail space now. So when you come in, it's not an all you can eat. So you can actually choose and pick what you want to eat um, as you go through the lines. You create your own meal. And then actually, you're, you're able to use your meal plan. So if you create a meal within $9, so you pick up a sandwich, a side, and a soft drink, within $9, you can use a meal block for that. Gotcha. Okay. So. You're going to come in, you're going to just go right on through and enter from the side, right. from the side. pick out your Walk food options, way. and then swipe out. You have the grill uh, that you'll be able to get your burgers, and then you have your flying wings, so we're tossing different items. Uh, chips, pies, and then a guard bowl. And then everyone's favorite is going to be the bar. Uh, <laughs> this, we heard about this, the beer so, and wine. The beer yes. and wine bar. So we have uh, draft beer and packaged beer. Uh, we have wine by the glass and wine by the can. Uh, and then we also have our go program that people will be able to go grab, grab and go, grab and go items. Nice. So, so you mentioned food. You've got your executive chef, uh, Brandon Canfield here. Brandon, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Welcome Thank to you Blue Thank you, Joe. You're uh, so tell us about the food. I mean, from what I can tell, the taste, this stuff is all made fresh, on site. This is not just heating stuff up, right? Uh, absolutely. So. Uh, we're really proud to partner with a lot of local producers. Right? So in our wing station, we've got halal chicken. Uh, we're partnering with, again, a uh, local beef producer. So that's all raised here in Indiana. Uh, it's ground here. We patty it here. Uh, we cook it fresh. It's not frozen. Uh, we, again, we partner with a lot of um, you know, produce vendors, okay? A few farms here on campus. We're bringing a lot of their stuff in that, uh, that they have. Okay. And uh, really using, really using, keeping things local, keeping things fresh. And then how about the recipes? I mean, you get to create those? Where do those come from? Yeah, the recipes, you know, we do that as a team. Right? Okay. So a good, great chef team that's here. Okay. And the good thing about us is the, the food that we bring in through the back door, that's all really high quality. We bring raw, whole foods. Yep. So beans are going to be coming in dry. Right. You know, we don't have soup bases or stock bases or anything like it's that. It's made from scratch. We make our barbecue sauce. The Bulldog barbecue yep. sauce, we're making that from scratch. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, and how's it been so far? What's your take? It's been phenomenal. Yeah. Right? So everyone we've met here at Butler's been great. Uh, I've yet to meet Trip. Oh, we, we can arrange that. 
So I've yet to meet Chip, but you know, the staff's great, uh, the faculty, everyone we've met's been great, been very accommodating, been welcoming, and it's, you know, it's a great partnership. We're going to join it so good. Well, we're glad you're here. Um, and speaking of here, we're here for lunch. Any recommendations on the lunch menu here at Rescue today? Take your pick. You know, we've got the, <laughs> we've got the garden bowl, we've got a lot of uh, beautiful greens and grains, composed salads oh, that we okay. that we I'm gonna hit that up. Drive for you. Okay. Uh, we have non-bread pizza. Okay. So we've got Turbo Chef ovens that are firing at about 800 degrees. Takes about 60 seconds to cook. No way. Yep. I love non-pizza. Uh, so we've got a lot of options there. We also have cheese and pepperoni for for you know those okay. that like the, the, the comfortable comfortable items. Yeah. We've got a wing station. There's buffalo wings. Uh, wow. We have. Which is the halal chicken. We've got cauliflower wings. So awesome. It's vegetarian. We've got about five or six different sauces. Beautiful burger section that we talked about already. Okay. Well, Brandon gave us the lowdown. Let's go have a look. Can we get like four entrees? Yes. All right. Cool. All right. So we're at our first sta station. Bulldog burger. Bulldog burger. What do we got here? Um, bulldog go goat. Okay. A B Big Boy West Coast and cheese. So it's a it's a smorgasbord of different patties over here. And they all look amazing. Got some kettle chips. Delicious. Going up. Then, uh, I don't, beans. yes, yes. Are you kidding me right yes. now? You got, yes. and some that I so can have. So there's fried, fried ca cauliflower nuggets, baby. But then there's deep fried boneless, boneless. and then bone, bone in air, air fried chicken. I mean, look at these. Are you kidding me Air right fried. Now? Does that mean it's healthier? Yeah. But there's bulldog barbecue sauce, miso honey, Dr. Which, Pepper sauce, and Indonesian style sauce. Which Evan's gonna try all those. I don't know. Uh, they're, yeah. they're all house made. Yep. So you gotta try them. Yep. And then next door is Trip's pies. Trip's got pizza. He's got pizza. Trip makes his own pizza. Oh, I love pizza. So vegetable pizza with vegan cheese is calling my name. But you got a bunch of mushroom and goat cheese pizza sounds amazing. Mediterranean. Let me let me zoom in a little bit. Prices and calories there. Wow. Let's take a look. On non bread. The garden bowl area, the salad area, looks incredible. I mean, these ingredients look so good. And I think there's a reason for that. They're all locally sourced. So remarkable. So, how and many then, things can we get? Well, a lot. And then over here, you've got, looks like four uh, beers on tap. And then, is that a Fortnite beer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But then, as you pan right, they also have a beer cooler with a lot of cans. You've got uh, White Claw and some um, Yingling. ciders and things on the bottom. And then, as you go up, you've got light beer and then some of your craft beers as you make your way up top. And then, I'm told there's wine here as well. So that one has a hippo on it. It's, it's going to be cool. Why does it have a hippo on it? I don't know. If you had to pick one of those right now, what would you get? I don't know. I don't like beer. I take the the, the thing of limes. <laughs> Hello. We did it. We got our food. Um, told so far we have five entrees for two people. Yeah. We're not eating at all. Okay. It's not going to be and, this kind of trip. We went above and beyond. Like normally you would get like one of these things and like just as a just as a, we wanted to try it we're all. Taste testing for you. We wanted to get just so. Um, oh, and here comes our sixth entree. We hit the garden bowl, so we hit the salad station. Yes. You and, got a specific. Uh, I got a crunchy salad. Yep. What's in the crunchy salad? I don't know. A bunch of mixed greens and and um, spinach, and I think there might be avocado somewhere in there. And I, I had them dress it up, and then you built your own. I built my own. Um, called Kraus salad. Uh, got kalmata olives, as one of our favorite chefs like to say. Uh, we have egg, feta cheese. I got the spring mix. I like a good spring mix because it's not like spinach. Right. Where it's like a bunch of spinach, but it's also not iceberg. So you get some good nutrients in there. Yep. Um, yeah, delicious. Hit the wings. We did do the wing station. You, did, you went half and half. So I wanted to try both the mild and the bulldog barbecue. And then you got the fried the cauliflower, cauliflower bites because they're, they're vegan. And I got the Dr. Pepper sauce. So we have three out of the four sauces. And, and then, then we hit pizza. So Mediterranean, right? That's the Mediterranean we have uh, with roasted peppers, artichokes, more feta cheese in the Kalmata olives on a non bread. And I got the veggie with vegan cheese. And so when you get up to the pizza station, you won't really see veggies. So if you want veggies, it's sort of almost like a build your own. You're like, well, 
uh, I would like this and this and this, and they just they go rescue it from either the burger station or the garden bowl, and they pull whatever veggies you want, throw it on your pizza, and cook it up, and 60 seconds later, you got a hot pizza. So, All right, and what'd you get to drink? Um, they had a lot still to choose from. Not as much as over in Atherton, but still quite a bit. Uh, I went with orange Gatorade today. Okay. Um, probably should have got the flavor infused water, but... Gatorade is great. Gatorade is alright. What'd you get? My Juicy Pear was here again. Juice, brisk Juicy Pear. It's all I've talked about since yesterday. Brisk Juicy Pear, zero calorie tea. I love you. Well, I got my dog bowl. I got my tray. Let's eat. What'd you think? Yeah, it's great. For, it was like, good. Grab and go. Mm -hmm. This is your spot. Like you want to eat a quick lunch. Yep. Don't need all the options. You're just like, yeah, I either need a booger or bur a burger. Uh, whoa, whoa, you need a booger? <laughs> yes. Miles? Pick your nose and eat it. You need a burger. You need wings. You need salad. You need pizza. Quick. Yeah. Quick. This is your, this now, is your jam. Or now, late night. Yeah, that's the other Open thing. Until midnight. This is your late night or your quick spot. Now, if I have time, like an hour between classes, of my honest opinion, I'm probably going to go to Atherton. They probably had more options. They had more. Um, Exotic options, if you will, uh, more vegan options. Yep. Um, but this is a nice option. It's another option to have on campus. Absolutely. And um, I really appreciate what they did because this is sort of an interim fix. Like Resco next summer, the plan is to hopefully blow it up and put in a, a new safely. Yeah, safely a new restaurant concept in here, so it'll change again probably. But for now, but for now, this is a total upgrade. I think it's good. I think it's uh, a great service point for campus. Speaking of which, we're going to show you a couple other service yes. points. Yes, we'll head to the um, the business building next because it's on our way back to our office. So we'll go there and then we'll grab trip and then we'll take you to Trip's uh, corner market and the new spot in the HRC. So fun fact about us. Uh, we both individually dropped our entire trays while putting up <laughs> our stuff away. But we didn't make a mess. So no, I it. did. You dropped everything oh. and it landed right side up. I had feta cheese all across the floor. Well, step up your, your drop seats game. Uh, so we're at we're outside the new business building, home of the Lacey School of Business. Gorgeous, and by the way. Inside is a coffee cafe. Yes. So we're gonna go check that out. Show you what's available there. Then we'll go get El Dago and we'll hit up the HRC and Trips Corner Cafe. These are my friends, Brandon yeah. and Michaela. Brandon and Michaela. Throwing <laughs> it down over here uh, at the cafe. This is Michaela. Always a great smile from Michaela. Brandon, he's hitting me. It depends on if he's been caffeinated oh. yesterday. <laughs> now, uh, obviously, you can get your coffee or whatever, but I think one of the cool things is what they're offering from Illinois Street Food Emporium. Is it the Illinois Street Food Emporium? Yeah. Okay, look at these. I mean, ham and cheese croissant. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. Stop, I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> get that. Uh, get the ham and cheese croissant. You won't go, you won't go wrong. And then you got danishes, donuts, and then some beverages you can just grab. Also, you heard Brandon's feelings. I heard Brandon's feelings? Yes, you did. <laughs> Well, there goes my free drinks from Brandon. Okay, so I will tell you, I've I've only had one drink from here. Yeah. I've had one drink. I got the nitro brew. And now you friends of Starbucks that like their nitro brew, here's the thing about Starbucks nitro brew. Nitro brew. The nitro comes from a tank. But here, uh, it comes from the air. The so air. It nitrogenizes the and, air. And here's the thing: these guys gave Evan a taste of the nitro brew, and it he was, has not stopped talking about it. I haven't. I drank it straight. It was so good. With one shot of amaretto, it was amazing. So come out in the in the new business building. Check it out. Get a scone. Get a biscotti. Get a donut. Get a drink. Grab and go. Make Brendan feel better because Michael made him sad. And and, and I mean. Starbucks is this great service. Yeah. Course, but look, look at that Starbucks line compared to here. It's and gorgeous. The nitro brew here is better. No, we're out, out here. So, pro tip. Do it. Get over here and get your coffee. He's got the wiggles. He's Chippy's got, got the wiggles. wiggles. He's excited. He's ready to go check out the Trips Corner Market. I think it is. And the HRC the Wellness HRC. Cafe thing. That yeah. We don't know the names. We're gonna. We don't go. know that we're working on. We're gonna figure out the names. But we're gonna go check them out. And also. Show them to you. Did you know you could buy these? A life Still size? Available. Go buy one.
We have made it to the HRC. Brittany's joined us now back. She's yeah. here. She had a class for like three hours today. Yep. So that's first, great. First day class. She first day. We're on our second coffee of the day. Wow. Nice. So we are here to check out, we still don't know what the name is yet, um, but it opened today. And so we have found, uh, we learned yesterday that this new uh, food option in the HRC is to, geared at people either about to start their workout or post workout. And uh, or maybe we, just passing through. Or passing through. On you want to I'll watch out. Back home. Oh, Absolutely. We got a basketball. And our friend Katie is here from yesterday. Yeah. Katie, our, our dietitian yes. friend, is here. It's always a good day when they can see But yeah, this just opened. Like it's brand new. Let's do a little tour. We have goldfish, we have skinny pop, which is delicious. We have some crackers with cheese, some nuts, seeds, and cranberries. This is one of my favorite go-tos for a post run. Or if I'm running, uh, if I'm training for the mini, yeah. a nut-filled cliff bar, always. Oh, I feel like this might be delicious. Oatmeal fruit speeds. Um, over here, have your beverages. A ginger ale is our one soda option. Because again, this is geared towards people who are working out or about to work out. So we have your naked juices, uh, juices, hint of, and then the giant live waters. Greek yogurt. Uh, and then you have, your, if you're adventurous, a plain Greek yogurt. <laughs> um, which I use as sour cream. Uh, we have some spoonable smoothies. That sounds interesting. Some baby carrots with ranch dips, sliced apples, and peanut butter. Okay, this is where I start getting excited. Yeah, baby. How many we have? Pepper pe Jack. I'm in. Uh, low, low in. moisture, low moisture mozzarella, Colby Jack, and mild cheddar. Some some good uh, protein options there, as well as your P3. This one has beef jerky. That one would be I would pick. Um, this one is a little different. Honey roasted. Different options here. Um, Nutella. I don't know if that's health food. That might just be funsies. I mean, you did work out. Go for it. That one, we've had this. We yeah. ate that, remember? We, we, have, dogs we have had that. Peanut yes. butter in a pouch? Yeah, peanut butter spread in a pouch. Oh, RX bars. RX bars. And then over here, some coffee. If it's like an early morning, I have done this. I have drank coffee before a workout because I was too tired. Um, milk. Did you know that chocolate milk is one of the best things to drink post-workout? The more you know people. Gatorade Zero, some more water as well as some coffee options. So lots here to do. Uh, come check it out in your next workout for sure. Okay. We are over here in the apartment village. Did you know you know Trip lives in the apartment village? <laughs> in an indisclosed apartment, but he, he does. He does. Um, oh. We're arriving here, walking out into the Selic Bowl. Yep, right by the football field, soccer field here. Gorgeous day. Here is the... What is it? New Trips. Trips Quarter Market. Market. Trip, you need to pose with your sign. You come here right here. There's Trip. Turn around, Trip. <laughs> There's Trip's Corner Market. There you go. Perfect. It says Trip's Corner Market. It's hot out there. It's not inside. Coming to cool off. So let's go in and see what they have to offer. Typical C store type options, pantry options. So if you need, you know, quick fix of chocolate, they got that. Like all of the chocolates. In the uh, biggest sizes I've ever seen in my entire life. You, you, you have cereal, but you ran out of milk? They've got that. That's the worst. You need a quick frozen pizza? Yep. Uh, Craving some brownies? Or cake? Come and get it. So, really handy, especially for those over here in the Parma Village who have means to make their own meal. This is super handy to have uh, because it's pretty easy to either run out of an ingredient or forget something at the store potentially run down here and, and grab it so um, but it's open to more than people just you know who live in AV anybody on campus can come over here and grab something including the public so if you live across the street you can run over here and get some Sour Patch gummies or something or some tricks are for kids except they're for you too friends a few more items here of, of interesting and note um, you got some Local products. Here, we just so open the door. Sweet corn. There go. Watch your face, Sweet trip. Sweet corn up top. That's frozen, ready to go. Then you got uh, frozen turkey and frozen beef, and like this is legit. Like this, I've I've gotten I've I've gone in with people to get a, a cow before, mm -hmm. and so this is straight from a local processor. 
this is gonna cook up really nice. Uh, local meat here, sausages, things like that. Bacon. Ground chuck, bacon. bacon. I mean, that's, over that, here. that's not, not store processed. That's local uh, meat. And then local dairy uh, for your milk needs if you want. And then cheese curds. Oh my gosh, Evan. I love cheese curds. I'll be surprised if you walk out of the store without this. I know. Uh, we also have local eggs as well. So you can, you wake up on a Saturday morning and you need breakfast. Trips Corner Market's got you covered. Definitely. So we did it. We tried um, all the new Butler Dining options. They were great. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back because we're going to do a breakfast one. We got to do a breakfast one over at Atherton. But until then and until next time, and as always, Go Dogs! Go Dogs! <laughs>